how are we doing today? Hope you're doing well. Um, today's day Tuesday, and hopefully uh, we'll we'll take a little extra look. So yesterday we looked at God's promise to make Abraham full. And today we'll take a look at the second part of the promise that God gave Abraham in Genesis 17. He promised Abraham to multiply him, or basically to make nations of him. When we think of Abraham, we also think of him as the father of the Jewish nation. However, God said he would make Abraham into nations, plural, not just a single nation. This specification is a foreshadow of another future faithful follower of God from whom many nations would come. And that person is Jesus. With the promise here, God told Abraham that he would be the patriarch for many people, groups, or nations, not just one. As we've learned through our series of sermons in Genesis, many nations formed from Noah's son. In declaring that God would make nations from Abraham, Abraham's nations were to be different in some way from the other nations. As we'll see later in the story of Genesis, additional nations, nations that were not from the line of Abraham, will also be formed. So some questions we can ask ourselves at this time are things like this. If the nations descended from Abraham were supposed to be distinct from all the other nations, how were they to be distinct? What would make them distinct? When God told Ab Adam and Abraham to multiply, what did he really want those people who were to be multiplied to be like? Re recall that until Noah and his sons began to multiply, there were no nations on earth. Although God gave no specifics, the distinction he wanted between the Abrahamic nations and the other nations and what he had originally wanted with Adam and Noah was that their descendants were to be followers of God, people who love God, worship him, have fellowship with him, and serve him. The distinction of the Abrahamic covenant was to pass from generation to generation as symbolized by the circumcision. This desire to pass on the knowledge and love for God through generations can be seen in Deuteronomy, where God gives this statement. These commandments that I give you, to be, give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. Also, we know from Proverbs, one of the things that it talks about children is start children off on the way they should go, and even when they're old, they will not turn from it. So the thing about having multiplication is that the children that we have, we're supposed to pass on our heritage of obeying God to them. As believers and disciples of Jesus, these same instructions apply. God wants us to pass on our knowledge and love for God to our children. But more importantly, God wants us to multiply disciples and train them to grow in the knowledge and love of God. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I commanded you. And surely I will be with you always to the very end of the age. We know this as the Great Commission. God wants all his people, from Adam to Noah to Abraham to Jesus to us, to multiply. He wants us to multiply faithful people who will bear fruit to be seen by others through how they live, who in turn will multiply more faithful people. This principle we've talked about at YC in the I am a missionary statement. I will obey the Great Commission as an expression of my love for Christ. I will grow in my ability to spread the message of Christ's love to those who are around me and around the world. I will do what I can do and I support those who can do more than I can do through my generous giving. I will memorize and meditate on John 20, 21, Matthew 28, 19 through 20, and 1 Peter 3, 15 to help me stay focused on the school. I hope you will obey the Great Commission and multiply.